Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty, pretty crazy news to go cover right over here when it comes to, well, the big pandemic of PlayStation 5 scalping. Now, thankfully here in America, Canada, and the UK, it actually has calmed down quite a decent bit when it comes to people buying, selling, and reusing consoles or whatever it may be. But as of right now, we are still seeing a massive pandemic when it comes to other regions such as Japan. China, Korea, and all these other various, like, mostly Asian-type style countries where there's just not a lot of consoles going around. There's a lot of people kind of still fighting back and forth, and as well, a lot of really weird, strange exports. But we've actually kind of known about this for quite some time. We made a few videos on it, but it doesn't really seem like it's still getting better. So we're going to go talk about right now the essentially crazy story of PlayStation 5 scalping in regards to Japan, in regards to the rest of the world, and why it's still going to be kind of a problem for at least a little bit of time. Now, it's a little bit more of an intriguing thing, too, as well, because there's seems like it's like a bigger, almost organized crime spree when it comes to scalping and when it comes to selling all these consoles. And as well, if any of you guys watched our random uh, drinking and celebration stream yesterday, a little bit of a weird one, but if you guys would ever want to have more YouTube streams just for either new releases or proper games, let me know in the comment section down below. It was weird, it was kind of sporadic, but I did have a fun time, so thank you guys all swung on by for there, and if not, thank you guys even just watching this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, we have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below if you guys want to follow, we have the Target links, we have the Amazon links and everything in between, and let's dive into the somewhat horrific story of PlayStation 5 scalping. So, as you guys probably know, when it comes to things like in America, we actually have a pretty wide, or like at least thankfully, a variety of places to go buy and get your consoles. And what that basically means is that if you can resell your consoles in China or Japan, let's say $700, $800 or so, you're probably going to want to focus in places like America to go and resell it. Now, as well, we've also been seeing a really big influx of brand new stock when it comes to Japan, and, well, Japan is also a part of this one. So we have a really intriguing report over here from Jody, where we're going to go talk about this and how this of the painstaking struggles of PlayStation 5 scalping and all those other weird cross-intercontinental, uh, I guess, trades when it comes to this one. So the true scale of PlayStation 5 scalping scalping in Japan, the Jody Report. So many were baffled this week when the PS5 achieved its highest hardware sales in Japan, let alone this past month we've seen a really high amount when it comes to America, when it comes to the UK, one of the highest like ever pretty much sales when it comes to consoles in like the bajillions and zillions and millions. And basically this is really high up here in Japan, this is pretty much comparable to the launch week here in Japan. But as a funny enough, and I kind of want to do a little bit more of a deeper dive on this, no PlayStation 5 software actually managed to even hit the top 10 although these consoles were some of the best selling things and selling like hot takes. So, they basically had a good chance for this one is to go and highlight the fact that scalping is well awful. They go in state. I believe one of the main reasons for this is because the PS5 scalping has been and still is occurring on the industrial scale. And we've known about this because I've seen people who have done and like basically bought out botting farms. Well, they'll go like we know people who are buying thousands of consoles at once, like if hundreds, if not thousands of consoles, because they either could go and resell in America on like eBay, StockX, like StockX, Facebook, or whatever. But on top of that, too, they also were sometimes shipping huge amounts of consoles in stock, like from the entirety of like say a Walmart or Target drop, and they would just send it over to like China. They go and buy 500 consoles and then try to resell it. They ship it over to China and go from there. So basically for this one, they keep on saying over here is that China is still the big drama, even and especially in regards compared to Japan. Because, I mean, it is kind of close. It's still, like, not that far away and relatively easy to go and ship. They say that there is still a demand for Jap Japanese PS5s in China because Chinese PS5s are a region lot. Now, we've highlighted this on the channel before, and that's kind of why even American consoles are really in demand. Because right now, China, you can not play a lot of games. There's not as many games as you'd be expecting. They basically have to have a really rigorous approval process. You have the Chinese government involved, and there's just not a lot of good games out there. So people will either go pay for a pretty massive premium, say for a Japanese or American console, and with that, it's intriguing, yeah, but it's also kind of basically soaking up stock from all these other regions, which is really rough to see. So as the unlocked Japanese PS5s are being resold in the Chinese gray market, and this is lucrative because the yen is also so weak. So once again, kind of going back to the big uh, issue, even with the PlayStation, where the price points are all over the place, it kind of goes to show that with this weird price conversion, it might actually be almost still really beneficial for a lot of scalpers to kind of focus on things like in China, Japan, or Korea, or these other kind of mid-tier countries that don't have as much stock, because the stock just isn't there. As I said, picks taken passers uh, by I have credited, but picks taken by scalpers I have not, they can get mm. So basically, up until recently, retailers in Japan actually had restrictions on buying PlayStation 5. So basically, you'd have like a store credit card, you would have your lottery, uh, basically you had to like enter in your name or your email and have a lottery system. We actually cover this news too as well, where a lot of places are finally lifting that restriction. But at the end of the day, is actually really nice. 
for normal consumers. But if you're someone who's a scalper or able to go mass buy stock instead of like having to go and wait for a lottery to buy one console, now you can go buy 50 just because, well, apparently now places like a Walmart or a Target equivalent just doesn't care anymore. That also, once again, leads to a big problem. So basically, scalper organizations got around this by basically employing dozens of people to buy PS5s from various stores before. Which is crazy to kind of see how deep this is all going. Where they quite literally were being like, hey, bud, we'll go give you like 20 bucks an hour, go and stand in line, and then try your best to go get these consoles. Like, go put your name in your lottery, make sure the lottery system's working, and kind of go from there. Now... I mean, people have done that. I mean, people have paid money to go make sure their iPhones can go and sit in their stores or whatever. But at the same time, this is crazy. So they even said that some stores even required Japanese IDs, but scalper organizations, mostly run by Chinese citizens, simply just got around this by employing Japanese people and then giving them a small cut of each piece I've gathered. So as they'd be like, hey, here's my credit card. Go and I'll give you 50 bucks every console. Like they'll sell for 200 bucks profit. At the end of the day, they don't have to do any work. It's almost like employing someone really enough. You guys can see like there's consoles that'll be on like, Look, there's like 15 consoles right there. Maybe not 15, but like 10. I mean, I was probably actually a decent bit. Oh, but you guys can see, like, these people are trying their best to get as many consoles as they could just to go and scalp them and resell. So basically, caught in 4K, here's actually two resellers. Wheel a cart loaded with PS5s on the outer platform of the Yamanote line in Shinjuku. Over here, you guys can kind of see some of the pictures around the holiday type, where you guys can even see some other big in-demand stuff with, number one, the consoles. You guys can even see the PlayStations over here, and then same with, like, the Supreme and any other kind of big thing. And now, this has been a struggle. Because, number one, we've known this has been ongoing for a while. Chinese consoles definitely have a huge premium, and it still actually is affecting even the American market. Now, thankfully, the American market does seem a little bit more normalized and does seem more basic, mainly because, like, we have all these big retailers, the Best Buy, Amazon, and Target, all of them, Walmart, and they essentially do have stock. Like, it's already there. They already know the stock is there, which is nice. We don't have to worry about, like, them being bought out or being scalped or whatever it may be. But other places like Japan, where the stock isn't and hasn't been as strong, does make things a little bit harder. So basically saying reselling has been so lucrative that all sorts of people, such as even mothers themselves, are even getting their kids involved just to resell consoles. So it's like probably like they have a cute mom and they have their daughter or their son and be like, oh my God, my son really wants a console. We have to make sure we get them and you kind of beg around and ask. But like, look at this. There's like seven consoles all just floating around over here in the first place. And it's sad. Like, this is like really sad to see that this pandemic is still ongoing. Just keep on seeing people buying as many consoles as they possibly can. And I don't know. It's weird because it, I, I get it. I mean, I understood it for even American scalpers. Like, you want to make money. You want to do well. You want to do good with yourselves. Whatever it might be. Like, I 1,000% go and get it. But I just never like scalpers, you know? It just made it so hard for all these normal folks. And all these people over here in Japan that are basically yoinking these consoles to go and resell in China. They're just making it harder for literally everyone. Now, for us in America, like I said, it's getting a little bit more normal. Like, normal lives. We're seeing a lot of consoles in stores. And everything does seem a little bit nicer. But, man, like, look at this. Like, we're just, it's almost disappointing to see where these are all consoles. This is literally probably, like, 50 consoles over here. Like, we're just seeing these scalping groups, and they're just trying their best. I mean, just to make money. They're just scheming. They're going to sell these over to China. Like, it's rough. Once the PS5 has been gathered, they are basically loaded into vans and then taken to another location for storage. And then they're, like, basically, like, mass lump sum together to go and ship them to literally China. So see, oh, you guys can even see the pictures. Like, it's just, it's crazy just to see this. There's consoles everywhere. It's nuts. Like, there's, like, just being grouped. There's a reseller carrying a lot of PS5s to an apartment next to the Dragon Quest Lawson and Nibonoshi, uh, which is one of those garbage people who don't care about the inconvenience of their surroundings via Deep L translation. Like, you guys literally just see these people holding their consoles. And, man, this is nuts to see that this is even, like, two years in. Like, we're literally seeing the PS5s being filled in vans and stuff. Like, it's crazy for me to go and see this that, like, bro... There's just consoles everywhere. Like, there's digitals, there's Dixon. Like, look at this. Like, look at this. This research last time how many PS5 they've gathered and sold online to as well. Like, you see all these just non-stop of consoles literally everywhere. And they're all packed. This is like a huge pallet of, what, hundreds of consoles over here. And it just makes me sad because we've just been seeing so many of these everywhere. And it makes me sad because they're making so much money. They're able to go and reply sell all these for multiple hundred dollars of profit. And it kind of seems like China themselves are a really big issue because they just are not, number one, selling consoles there. Number two, not really selling, like, region lot consoles. Like, they're not really selling the Chinese consoles. It has to be, like, American or Japanese. And it's just weird because, well, people want to do it. They're going to make money. They're going to do it at the end of the day. But it's kind of crazy just to see how widespread and how big of a problem this is. Like, thankfully, it wasn't as bad here in America 
but it's bad nonetheless. It's all over the place. So if you guys are wanting to see more details on this one, because it has been one of the more ongoing issues, let me know. But you can also give me your thoughts and comments down below as well. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below. We have the Target Amazon links too as well. If you guys want to pick up your consoles and leave a like and your thoughts down below.